Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2017 Toyota Sienna Limited all-wheel drive. Now the most notable features on this Limited is its DVD player. You also have your heated front seats as well as your navigation system. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2017 Toyota Sienna Limited all-wheel drive. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this Limited is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps and as you can see you also have your parking sensors. Over on the side you have the 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels. Integrated signal lamps as well as your foldable mirrors. And taking a look just really quickly just at the second row. As you can see, you have your captain seats in the back there, and if you take a look at your third and second row windows, you have the sunshade visors, just so you can block out some of that sun. You have a moonroof in the back there, just so your passengers can enjoy it, DVD player as well, just so you can entertain the kids just on the long trips. Closed button for the power sliding rear doors is going to be located just on the inside here. Now, parents, if you're worried about your kids or possibly yourself getting your hand or arm jammed to the door, you don't have to worry about that. It has the jam protection feature, so in the event that the door does sense there's an obstruction in the way, it'll open itself back up automatically. And then, if you just want to close it from the outside, just pull on the handle once more, and it will close for you automatically. Now, the color we're going to be taking a look at today is blue. And taking a closer look at the front dash as well as the front seats, you have your leather interior with your power driver seat with lumbar support. Over on the left hand side you're going to see your traction control on and off, parking sensors on and off, blind spot monitoring, heated steering wheel, and with that blind spot monitoring the indicator is just located on the inside of the mirror there. So in the event that the door, or I should say that there's a vehicle right beside you there, the indicator will light up. Seat memory controls along with your power folding mirrors, mirror controls, and your window locks and power locks. Now, a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your volume control, your seat function mode select, voice recognition, Bluetooth, scroll function for the multi-informational display, with your cruise control, and if we take a closer look, you do have the push button start, so all you have to do is push foot on the brake, hit the push button, and it will start up for you automatically. Now, taking a look at the multi-informational display, you'll see a couple of different features on here, which include your digital speedometer with a distance to empty, fuel economy, all-wheel drive monitor, exterior temperature gauge, you have your compass, audio, messages, and settings menu with ECT power, as well as a couple of other additional features, just so you can personalize everything for yourself. Now, taking a closer look at the center dash as well as the touch panel display, you'll see a couple of different features on here. Inside the apps menu, you have your navigation, audio, phone, as well as a couple of other additional features. Now, it does have the driver easy speak function, so with the driver easy speak function, you can use the speaker system to project your voice through to the rear passengers, just so that you can concentrate on driving and still communicate with your passengers. It does have the premium JBL sound system in here, Dual zone climate control settings with your rear temperature controls located down below. Hazard lights, matted to an automatic transmission. As you can see, you have your heated seat controls for your driver and passenger with your USB and auxiliary input. You'll have your power outlet just located down below there as well. Taking a look up top, you have your auto dimming rear view mirror with integrated garage door opener and digital compass. And then you'll also find the open and close for your power sliding rear doors and your sun glass case holder. Taking a look, as you can see, with the backup camera, you have those nice guiding lines in there, making things much easier for you when you back into a stall. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area, as well as your tailgate now located on your rear bumper. You're going to see your parking sensors just located right across. On the back of the tailgate, you'll find your backup camera just on the left-hand side, and your rear hatch release located in the center. Closing in on the rear cargo space, you have a 60-40 split for the third row, so in the event that you need the additional cargo space that's available to you but if you need the additional cargo capacity you have that available to you as well so if you have additional passengers you still have plenty of cargo room down below you also have some cargo space on the left hand side as well and if you're wondering how the seats fold or unfold the instructions are located just on the back of the seat if you take a look on the right hand side you'll find that power outlet as well 
And then when you're all finished up, all you have to do is just push on the back of the tailgate once and we'll close for you automatically, making things a lot easier for you, especially when you have your hands full of grocery bags or the kids' sports bags. Thank you so much, folks, for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Phone number is 780-410-2455, or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.